Hey guys, so before we get into this bout, I just wanted to let you know that we've reached 100 subscribers at the time of me recording this. Huge thanks to everyone, and I'll try to keep the videos coming as regularly as possible. Enjoy! Alrighty, our next round of 32 bout is Garrick Meinhardt of the United States versus Max Van Haster of Canada. Links to the commentated bout on Google Drive and to both Fencer's Who's Who videos are in the description as usual. Now, Van Haster got absolutely, utterly wrecked in this bout, 15-4. And there was one person who asked if I could talk about what he could have done better in this bout. So, Danan2334, I hope this helps answer your question. Okay, first of all, this is Garrick flicking Meinhardt we're talking about. There is a considerable skill differential between these two fencers, and Garrick made that abundantly clear from the outset. He held the initiative for pretty much the entire bout, and scored the vast majority of his touches with attacks. Van Haster never really found a solution to them, but when he did let Van Haster attack, he usually crushed it in short order anyway sometimes with his trademark flying parry riposte. Garrick is the better fencer, and realistically there was no chance of him losing, but Van Haster also wasn't fencing at the same level as his previous bout with Antonio Leal. If you compare the bouts, his attacks were much faster and sloppier here. Usually, rushing like this is symptomatic of a mental problem. My guess is Van Haster was just afraid of Garrick, and you can't really blame him, but stress is something that every Olympian has to deal with at some point, and something that every champion has long since learned to manage. So if we want to know what Van Haster could have done better, the very short answer is to relax. And really, everything else follows directly from that. If you're having this kind of problem when you're fencing, the techniques and tactics of the bout don't matter nearly as much. Getting caught up trying to fix your fencing itself without putting your mind in the right place can actually be detrimental. Usually, when you finally do relax, your fencing will naturally correct itself to a point. Only then can you focus on the other stuff. We see a great example of this towards the end of this bout. During the last few touches, Van Haster finally started fencing to his usual standards again. All of a sudden, his attacks were smooth and patient, and he could start to work with what Garrick was giving him and solve some situations. On the other hand, perhaps this was only the moment of extreme clarity that comes with desperation, as Garrick was on the brink of victory anyway. At any rate, Garrick won and went on to fence Erwan Lepeshu in the round of 16. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out the commentary. The next bout will be Jeremy Cadeau versus Andrea Cassara. So, until next time, stay sharp.